This is what I call my Chinese flute. Funny story, I, uh, I was speaking at a uh, Chinese Bible study in Miami one day and I brought a bag of these flutes to help provide funding for uh, Flute Maker Ministries. And when I took it out and said, this is the Chinese flute, uh, a precious uh, lady said, oh, this is not the Chinese flute. And, and she was right. I call this my Chinese flute. And keep in mind, I call it the Chinese flute. But the funny thing was, is I told them to close their eyes and feel the force. And when they did, uh, I sold almost the whole bag uh, uh, to raise money for our ministry. And it was birthed when a professor got in touch with me to create uh, a pentatonic scale on a high voice that reminded the audience of a production uh, of uh, China. So uh, I was commissioned to make a couple and it came out so nice that I uh, went into production and uh, we're still offering it. It's basically a small pentatonic scale with a few more notes in that pentatonic scale. So anything you do sounds good. Kind of more of that uh, misty, um, uh, river, ancient uh, bamboo village feel. Here we go. Some thoughts on the Chinese flute. Uh, cover the holes with a padding of the finger. It has a back hole. You're squeezing and you're pressing and you're rolling to get sound. And smiling and spitting watermelon seeds. And as you go up and down the scale, it brings you into a very melodic scale. The Chinese flute.